Welcome to Software Developers channel. In this video, I am going to explain your PPT. If you are new on my channel, then you can subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications of upcoming videos. And if you want any video or any topic, then you can suggest me the topic name in the comment section. And if you want code PPT which is available on my channel, then firstly just subscribe to the channel and then after you can send me mail. I will mention the mail ID in the comment section. Okay, so start the video. Firstly, I have already made this video in Hindi. So you, if you are much comfortable in Hindi, then you can watch this video. Okay, so one subscriber suggest me to make this particular video in English. Okay, so I'm so Priyanka comment me to make this PPT video in English. So I'm going to make this in English. Okay, and mainly subscribers send me mail, send me a comment that prepare code on this topic. So I'm going to upload a code on this topic after two days. And that code will be on Django. That will be a web application. And if you want code on machine learning, then you can send me data set. Okay. So I will prepare a code in machine learning also. You just can send me. You can send me data set. Okay. So let's start the video. So firstly, the title name of this PPD is Smart Voting System Support Through Face Recognition. Okay, so here we will just cover these points. Introduction, Objectives, Literature Survey, How Does It Works, Advantages, Applications, Conclusion, References. Firstly, in introduction, we will just discuss about the concept, the brief explanation of online voting system support through face recognition okay so here like nowadays in india two types of method are used for voting the first method is secret ballot paper in which lots of people are used and second method is evm which is used since 2003 okay so basically guys for voting there are only two types of methods got it there are two types of method what kind of methods First method is secret ballot paper. So you can also take idea about it like secret ballot paper means they are using only paper for this vote, uh, voting. We are going to use or they are going to use a paper. Okay. So lots of papers and in second electronic voting machine. So both methods basically works on signatures, basically works on like thumb impressions, works on papers. So no okay guys and you can like take idea like if they are using only signatures if they are only using thumb impression then how we can just like how they can detect or how they can take idea that a particular person is not giving vote more than one okay so guys from these like uh, methods we can get we can get idea we can uh, find conclusion that these two methods are not secure for voting because there are many chances for fraud there are many chances okay because if i'm taking about if i'm uh, like uh, taking an example if i'm going to give vote so if there are no any secure method if there are no any id card is using if there are no any method like which are using id card which are using voter id card which are using my images so i can vote them multiple times right so this these methods are not secure so our non-deserving candidates our non-deserving candidate can take benefit of it so that's why online voting system support through face recognition method proposed and this method is very very good so we will discuss about the process we will discuss about the benefits we will also discuss about three level of verifications okay so guys i just explain you why this method proposed because other two met other two methods are not secure there are lots of chances of the risk okay because a non uh, deserving candidate can win because of just the stupid mistakes because there are no any id card if there are no any id card then any person can vote multiple times to a particular person any person can give vote to a particular person okay 
so that's why we are now we are we are talking about three level of verification so uh basically face recognition if you are uh, like uh, aware of it or not i'm going to explain you about face detection what is face detection or what is face recognition in this process there is a camera which just detect your face which just focus on face means if uh, like uh, if you are saying that uh, i like uh, i have beards but in my id card but in my images there are no any beards so don't worry guys it just only detect the features it not detect like uh, like if you have beards and in the images there are no beards so it will not detect you that this is not your this is not you this is not your image so no guys it will detect only features so what kind of features features is eyes features is nose features is mouth features is lips so these are your main features which is like processed during the face recognition or face detection okay so it happens because it can detect that this is the right candidate which are which is going uh, which is like giving vote okay so now we are going to discuss about three level verification so guys first level is unique id number verification okay so for example if you are studying in a school if you are studying in like college so uh, you uh, like a college just provide you a roll number so that is your roll number so your roll number is like very different number your roll number different from other person so that's why unique id number is different from others okay so just that and second level is election commission id or voter card number okay so this is your second level verification third is your election commission id is correct then you have to give for third level of verification which is the main security level where the system recognize the face of the voter real voter from the system database of face images given by the election commission okay so guys if i am going to vote any party okay so what will be the first step first step will be unique id number if i have unique id number then they will like send me for the second level in the second level there uh, like uh, there is election commission id or voter card number if i have election commission id or voter card number okay then they will send me for the third step if i have no any election commission id or no any voter card number then they will not send me for the third third step okay if i have suppose i have uh, like election commission id and voter card number then they will send me for the third step and in the third step what will happen like guys i already tell you that they will match my images with my features okay so what kind of images and what kind of features okay so guys government has all our information all our images like guys government already have our images so we when we just go in the front of camera then that will just detect or that will recognize your face features so that face features must be should be matched with that the images that is stored in the data set in the database of government commission okay election commission or government so if the images is matched with our features then vote will be counted and if features or images not match then they will not count my vote okay so these are the basic three steps and if for example like uh, uh, i am going again to vote a particular party or another party like i am thinking that i can use this vote again i already voted a person a party but i am just thinking like like just the uh, please uh, like i can go again because other two methods are not secure so i'm just taking it for granted that i can uh, give more uh, more than one vote to the uh, with this method also so i'm going to vote again so firstly what they will check first is unique id number guys if i am going to vote any other like again then they will check my unique id number but the thing is happen is i have already voted a person so how they can allow me for the second step 
यूनिक आईडी नंबर लाइक इफ आई हैव जस्ट वोटेड लाइक आई लाइक प्रीवियसली आई जस्ट गिव वोट टू एनी पार्टी देन दे देन माय रिकॉर्ड ऑलरेडी सेव्ड इन अ सिस्टम राइट सो व्हेन आई जस्ट गो अगेन टू वोट एनी अदर पार्टी देन दे विल चेक डेटाबेस दैट दिस पर्सन is new or this this person already voted on a party party so if my unique id number is already available in their records then they will not allow me to give the um, vote okay sorry they will not allow me for the second step okay so this uh, this will be one like um, thing that can be happen and other thing can be happen if uh, i'm taking about like my friend uh have some work and he just don't want to uh, like waste his vote so he just said me that just go uh, go to the uh, go to vote okay so i just take his unique id number okay so my unique id number is different because that id uh, like uh, he not voted anyone so they, they can uh, they will allow me for the second level and but in the second level election commission id also new but in the third level they will allow me for the third level but when will come third level they will check they will like detect my face but in the database like my friend photo is recorded in their database so when camera will detect my face then it will show that i am not the right candidate i am the i am not the exact person which as this id or which is this person so they will not count my vote and they will say that it is not the exact person so here is the like uh, like it is very best very good method which is a uh, very good in comparison of other methods so okay so now uh, now if the captured image is matched to with the respective image of the voter in the database then a voter can cast their vote in the election as you have to know that in the existing system is not much more secure because in existing system security level is not sorry only voter card so anyone can give other person vote with voter card but here we propose a way of way for voting which is more secure than existing system i have already explained you guys if you have also if you have then also if you have any query guys you can send me mail you can also mention in the comment section okay next is literature survey so here we will discuss about the studies which is already available okay so first is existing system we have already like um, study about this existing system there are two types of existing system ballot paper electronic voting machine so what kind of things happens with this because they are like um, any person can vote multiple times or any person can use other person votes okay so there are many chances of fake votes so this method is not good it can cause problems it can create many much problems because right candidate will not will right will not win okay so next is therefore we need an effective method to identify the fake voter during voting uh, uh, if you guys uh like we need a proper method we need a best method to detect a fake voters so next is proposed system so there are three levels i have already explained you about three levels unique id numbers okay and i can face algorithm okay guys so when we are talking about face recognition or when we are talking about face detection so what kind of uh, like uh, algorithms or what kind of techniques you can also uh, like um, uh, suggest this technique uh, techniques okay so eigen face algorithm so this algorithm used during face recognition so how it used like if you are going in front of camera then camera captures your features okay so what it happens that in the background because uh, you are just uh, because camera uh, is just capturing the light okay so in the background it just ma making a matrix so it just make a covariance matrix so that covariance matrix just create your features just create features such as eyes nose lips so eigen face algorithm used during face recognition 
ऑनलाइन फेज रिवॉल्यूशन में ओके सो लेवल टू आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू सो हाउ डज इट वर्क फर्स्ट इज फर्स्ट स्टेप इज गाइड इनिशियलाइजेशन एक्वायर द ट्रेनिंग सेंट एंड कैलकुलेट आइगन फेज विच डिफाइंड आइगन स्पेस आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन अबाउट यू आइगन फेज ओके सो सेकेंड इज वेन अ न्यू फेज इज एनकाउंटर्ड कैलकुलेट इट्स वेट वेट इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट लाइक आई एम जस्ट गोइंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ कैमरा टू जस्ट गिव द बोर्ड देन आई एम द न्यू कैमरा सॉरी आई एम द न्यू फेस इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैट कैमरा सो वेन एनी न्यू कैमरा सॉरी वेन वेन एनी न्यू फेस कम इन फ्रंट ऑफ कैमरा देन इट विल कैलकुलेट वेट ऑफ दैट फेस ओके देन आफ्टर कैलकुलेट द वेट ऑफ दैट फेस इज determine if image is face now what is this like guys if i am talking about like uh, uh, many people just wear the mask because uh, of the corona virus so if someone like wear mask in front of camera then it will not like it will not detect that person it just say that this is not the right candidate okay so person has to be uh, like uh, without any like a mask without anything in the camera across the camera your face should be cleared should be like come fully okay so third point is if yes if you are the right candidate then it just classify the weight and it will just say that it is the known person or unknown person and if the same same unknown person is seen several times incorporate it into into faces non faces i can face follows the particle so particle component analysis sorry principal component analysis approach in which face space forms a cluster in image so guys this is the back back end work which just happened during the process okay now what is the advantages so guys it is easy to use convenience and social acceptability application is security residential security voter verification banking using atm so conclusion guys with this method like um, there are less very 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 less chance of fakeness very less chance of fraud vote so conclusion means guys what is the like main result of our study what we just get from this study so we just get that online voting system is very 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 effect effective method and uh, it is just a very good method and it can provide a uh, security uh, security uh, to the voters security to the party so right candidate can win with this okay thanks guys for watching the videos